This is Joe Baglier, and today I'm going to teach you how to find the largest prime factor of the number 600,851,475,143. Woo! Okay, so the first step in finding the largest prime factor is getting all the factors. So the first thing we're going to do is declare a function called get factors, and it's going to take an argument of a number. We're going to declare an array that's going to be the factors and it's going to be an empty array. We are going to loop through every number between 1 and the number and every factor that we get we are going to push into the factors array. Now let's think for a second about what a factor is. Take the number 6. Let's think about 6. Now a factor is a factor of a number if when you divide that number you don't get any remainder. So 6 divided by 1 is 6, no remainder. 6 divided by 2 is 3, no remainder. 6 divided by 3 is 2, no remainder. 6 divided by 4 is 1 and a half, so that's a remainder. 6 divided by 5 is 1 point something, so again you don't get no remainder. Um, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if n the remainder of n divided by i, which is going to be the numbers that we're going to loop through between 1 and 6, um, is equal to 0. We are going to push those numbers into the factors. So factors.push i. Great. And we're going to say console.log get factors. So we return the factors, and then we execute this in the console. We should get 1, 2, 3, and 6. Awesome. That's exactly what we expected. Great. So now that we get the factors, let's go ahead and get the factors of this awesome number 600,851,475,143. Ooh, we appear to be stuck here. Now, why is that? It might have a little bit something to do with the fact that we are trying to iterate through every single number between 1 and 600,851,147,500. Nope, didn't get it right that time. Whatever. You get the point. We are trying to iterate between every number between 1 and 600 billion and something. That is just too much. It's going to take too long for the computer to try to do that, so we need to make it a little bit easier for the computer. So what do we do here? Well, remember when we were talking about 6, 1, 2, 3, and 6 being the factors of that? You may have noticed a little bit of a pattern. 1 and 6 pair together, 2 and 3 pair, pair together. Now let's think about the number 10. Factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. 1 and 10 go together, 2 and 5 go together with trying to find factors of a number that you only need to go up to the square root of n. So math.sqrt n, and then you can push n divided by i in there. So let's try this with 100. Great. The only thing we need to do is not push two tens in there. So we're going to go ahead and say if n divided by i is not equal to i, which is basically saying, you know, if the opposite number is not the same as this number, throw it in there and we should get rid of that extra 10. And yes, we do. Now let's try it with that super big number, which is, of course, 600,851,475,143, because duh. Uh, let's give it a shot and see what we get. It comes up with it right away. How did it come up with it so much faster? Well, I will tell you why. That is because the square root of 600,851,000. 475,143 is obviously, um, uh, it is obviously, uh, 775,146.099. Duh. So let's keep going. We need to find out which one of these numbers in here is a prime factor. So let's do this. I'm just going to say, let's change this to get prime factors. Okay. 
console.log const git prime factors is equal to a function of again n. Awesome. We're going to say the first thing that we want to do is regular let factors equal to get factors of n. Awesome. And then we're going to say let every number's got a factor of one. So we're going to say greatest prime factor. Let's use a map factors dot map function. We're going to say if If the factor is greater than the greatest prime factor and it's prime, which we will declare in a second, and I'll show you how to do that. Greatest prime factor is equal to this factor. And we're going to return the factor. Now, how do we determine is prime? First of all, we got to declare it. Const factor. Const is prime. You know how easy this is? I'm going to show you this. Remember when we were doing that thing where we were going through and we were like one, two, three, six. Let's think of a number that isn't prime. Like five, it's one and five. And seven, it's one and seven. So this is going to return factors and it's only going to have a length of two. So, boom. And it is get factors. N dot length equal to to return greatest prime factor. Okay, let's see. 6,857, which is of course the right answer because I knew the greatest prime factor of 600,851,475,143. I knew the greatest prime factor of that was uh, 6,857. Duh, because who doesn't know that, idiots?